So they're at all the sites is where I left off where they came up with a plan to kidnap them. Right now it is the time period where they're visiting all these temples and they're crawling through the hole. Which one of them can't fit through so they gotta push it through. But they keep on visiting sites and we're gonna skip to the government hiring a sniper to try to kill Kora Sensei with anti anti Sensei sniper bullets and stuff like that. Which I'm gonna say there was reports of two students um able to destroy a lot of limbs off of Kora Sensei and all kinds of stuff like that. Saying that two of them, Cartman and Nagisa, are the only people to destroy the limbs on the first day of trying and all kinds of stuff like that. And explain that Cartman has some kind of ability to explode stuff with fire, almost making a grenade anything he touches, or a grenade full of fire and stuff like that. And they report that Nagisa seems to have the ability to almost predict every movement that Kora Sensei does. Almost all, always 100%. Seeing that even while they're shooting, he's the only one, for some reason, he throws bullets around the room. And 90% of, t- of the time, all the bullets hit and the other 10%. Sometimes Curtis Sensei dodges one or two. And I'll say they give him a tally up of every, the average per day, saying 20 tentacles per day um, for each of them. But the squid always runs away and hides. Because they still call him a squid, they don't really call him Curtis Sensei. Asuna says that, the PE teacher. And we're getting back to where they were just having fun, and they're walking down the alley, and a whole bunch of men tries to jump them, which I'm going to say that Nagasa and Cartman was somewhere else. Um, looking at, Cartman's looking at some actual weapons saying that, getting like a katana saying that if I buy this and use my an ability on it. I can explode this at somebody. Nagi says, like, there's no point to have a weapon against normal people that with our regular fist we're able to pretty much destroy somebody's organs and bones. So he says there's no point of doing that. This is where we're getting to the whole thing where the class is running to Nagisa and Karma. Um, saying that they kidnapped one, two, three of the girls and stuff like that. That's when Nagisa says, have you guys tried this book? Pulling out the pamphlet that Cora Sensei gave them and figuring out where to go. But the thing is, Nagisa has been creating techniques to take down um, people easier, far range with no reason to get in danger. So they walk in, explains the whole book, but when the people try to charge him, Kern Sensei knows that Cartman and Nagisa's there, and he knows that at, even at the beginning, these two can, or Nagisa was pretty much an assassin already, but Cartman's more of a brawler, saying that Cartman could have just walked in and started grabbing people's arms and exploding them if he wanted to and stuff but when they drop in Nagisa's there and the person tries to attack them Nagisa says or a blast and pretty much this shoots a it's just him propulsion his aura outwards to pretty much destroy it's not too strong. It's able to knock down a normal human, do some damage. But this move was made to take down, like, make Kora Sensei weaker by, like, disintegrating his wings or his not tentacles. I mean, 
instantly. That's from Cartman, I'm gonna say grabs has like his fingers full of um glass bottles and he throws them at them and he says night with glass shards flowing everywhere. With Nagisa and Cartman protecting everybody from the glasses because the glass came and hit them directly, they'll just pretty much get disintegrated. Just shot back. This is when they stream, what's with these kids? And that's when I'm going to say one of, two of them come out from behind them, trying to stab them, stab Nagisa and them. That's when Nagisa pretty much throws Cartman at them. And Cartman's like, why did you do that? Cartman cut, touches, um, I'm going to say he takes a piece of paper. Because he's not trying to kill people, because his ability could easily kill somebody. But he takes pieces of paper, and I'll say he flips it into their, their shirts and says goodbye with it exploding and burning them a lot. And they're screaming out, saying, what's with these kids? And that's when, of course, Sensei comes by and tells them to stop. There's no point to do any more damage to them because they are a lot lost. Give them a weird smile and all kinds of stuff like that. And yeah, creeping them out. And they all run out and all kinds of stuff like that. But now they're going back on the train to go somewhere else. This is where they run into an area with people interacting in battle. I'm going to say Kurt Sensei going in there and dressing up. This is when McCartman says, I'm joining in. And Nagasa just goes with them. And they go grab something to dress up in. And because they're so fast at moving also, so they're kind of looking like Kurt Sensei by pretty much disappearing out of the sniper's eyes. But Cartman's, what he's doing is that he says, burning heaven's flames, grabbing the chest piece, exploding it, just exploding it, trying, not trying to blow people up. But I want to say Nagisa in the middle, because these people are getting angry because they're like kind of wrecking stuff. And one of them exploded one of the friends, so they're coming at them full strength. Nagisa closes his eyes, pours Nin into the blade, and says, even, with Amosi, he has a blindfold in his eyes. Whenever he does this, he puts it on. He says, even if I don't see, I know what you're doing, even before you do it. And this is when you see, you see him draw his blade. With them cutting through their blades and slicing their armor off, he says, I am the blind warrior. All kinds of stuff. This when you skip to the sniper saying those must be the kids that are able to take down the squid and stuff like that. So he's over here trying to shoot, trying to find where the squid's going, but the squid's dodging with all he's seeing these kids pretty much destroying these guys' armor, acting like they're dead and stuff. With Class E yelling, good job, do it. Amazing. And because they already know that their teacher is super fast and stuff, and he's a yellow squid, pretty much. Their abilities are not that strange to them if some dude can blow up the earth. Which Cartman can't blow up the earth. Cartman, I'll put a limit on his power. He can only put, like, he can't just touch a, he can touch a house, but he can't blow the whole thing apart. He will probably... And he can't just blow up the whole earth, pretty much. He has, like, a limit. But he is able to touch a big tree and blow the half of it apart. And touch the, grab the other half touching it, throwing it at somebody and exploding it. So I'll give him his range is 15 feet long, 15 feet, or 10 feet high. Making a box like that. He can probably blow up, like, a small shed is what his limit is and stuff like that but yeah this is where I see the dude's getting annoyed he just shoots a bullet saying that one of those kids took a shot to the took, 
um, deflected shots with his hand. If I hit one of them, they should be fine. With, I'm gonna say, Nagisa already know he was there in Cartman 2. And he, Nagisa kicks Cartman backwards saying, get that. Cartman t grabs the bullet and chucks it back with what Class E knowing or telling that somebody shot something at them because they're assassins too. And I'll say they're progressing a little faster. Not ridiculous faster or something like that, but I'll say they're just as good assassins when they fight um, class, class 1A. Um, you know, the principal son people against the Americans, I'll say they're about that level, which is pretty high, but... And so they turn back to see that bullet exploding, destroying this place. And so he says, what is with those kids? And now we skip to them riding on something. He's trying to kill Sora's course and say with a headshot. This is what he says, I give up. Or we skip to the scene where they're figuring out what Cora Sensei looks like underneath his robes. And they go over into his bathroom with them seeing a jello like stuff around him and stuff like that. He jumps out the window with us seeing him fly over to um, the sniper dude and talk to him and introduce him. And they're eating miso soup. And he's Oh, I, I think it was, no, I think it was actually tofu. Yeah, I thought it was miso soup for a second in my head. Yeah, eating tofu with horse Sensei blowing it out. And them talking about how the government sent them, saying, and I'll say, um, because of the progress of how these kids were destroying stuff, I'll say they made the reward ten times more. If the um, if those two defeat the squid together, which would make it each of them get five times more than the original price, <laughs> whatever it was, I forgot. And I'll say they get back from the trip, and the swan corn since he says because of the progress of Nagisa and Cartman or Karma. Saying if those two work together and defeat me, they will get ten times the normal reward, the reward of the original price, and that also goes with everybody else in this room. If you work together with them, saying if you all work together and defeat me, two out of everybody in this class, if there's like eighteen, will get. I, I don't want to do math right now. But each, you'll be all grouped in a, two pairs, but if you all work together, the two pairs will get ten times the normal reward. reward. And this is where I'm going to leave it off. Goodbye, see you next time.